A company, Pythagoras Solar, uses optical technologies which can concentrate sunlight and integrate with conventional silicon photovoltaic cells in the window panel or known as photovoltaic plus unit PVGU. It uses optical system sandwiched between layers of glass which can control the amount of heat and light that is transmitted through the window. Molten salt will absorb heat from the sun and it will flow to the storage tank. At night, the high temperature molten salt and water will flow into the heat exchanger. The water will be heated and form superheated steam which will turn the turbine to generate electricity. Lastly, the molten salt will recycle back into the low temperature storage tank. One of the features of the solar window is the use of transition metals in the manufacturing of the solar window. The transition metal solar window will turn down when the sun is up, thus reflecting all the heat and keep the inner environment cooler. And during the night, the transition metal solar window will become transparent and allow more light to enter the building so that it will be more visible during the night. The third feature is that instead of using traditional silicon power cell, we're actually using polymer solar cell which is safe in terms of mass production and also disposable but its durability and efficiency does not match the traditional silicon solar cell. Here are the four ways to improve the efficiency of the solar window. Number one, apply UV protector to the surface of thermochromic coatings. Number two, apply suitable ARC to the VO2 to form mesoporous composite thin films. Number three, adding a low emissive layer. Number four, apply multi-layer design. Important fact about the earth. Non-renewable resources such as coal, natural gas and fuel are used to generate electricity. And it is depleting without our knowledge. Solar is one of the prominent alternative sources for the other non-renewable sources, but it is not efficient enough to generate electricity as the non-renewable resources 